Welcome to the 2020 Structure Inspection Level 1 class. The first session in this class is going to be bridge types and bridge components. Some of the common bridge types you're going to hear over and over are different flanges, webs. Uh, if you can see here by the laser pointer, the bottom part on this member is a flange. The top part is a flange as well. It's called the top flange and the bottom flange. The vertical member that connects them is called the web. This is going to be the same on pre-stress, pre-cast members, as well as structural steel members. So if you see over here, we have the web with the top flange or the bottom flange and the top flange. On these turb gutters shown over here, it's the same thing. You've got the bottom flange, you've got two different webs, and then a top flange on top of each one. Different bridge types. You got our most common. Uh, bridge beam or girder is the pre-stressed, pre-cast beams. We either have box beams as shown here or pre-stressed, pre-cast eye beams that come in different size eyes. Or we have the structural steel beams and girders here, which you can see. And this one also has a uh, structural steel pier cap that is a girder that was used for this construction. Uh, there are arch bridges. As you can see here, there's two different kinds. You have an arch where the arch is below the driving surface. This is called a deck arch. And then as from this one, you can see this is the Big Mac Bridge in northern Kentucky. You drive through the arch. So therefore, that is called a through arch. Truss bridges, which are probably our most uh, common steel bridge, especially for long spans in the state. Similar to the arch bridges, it's a deck truss when you drive on top the truss and it is a through truss when you drive through the truss. Uh, these are different uh, types of trusses. They're not all going to look the same. There's many different types of trusses, but just know the deck truss is when you drive on top and the through truss is when you drive through it. Cable stay bridges are a long span bridge and we now have four of them in the state of Kentucky. This first one you see here in Owensboro, over the Ohio River, and in Maysville. Uh, what these do, the cables span from the top of the tower all the way down to the deck surface itself. They actually connect to the deck and the cables hold the loading of the deck and it goes back to those tall towers. As you can see from this, these cables go to the outer side from one central point over here you can see the cables go up to two different towers and from two different points connect down to the deck. Another picture of cable state bridges. These are two newest ones. This is Abraham Lincoln Bridge built in downtown Louisville and then the Lewis and Clark Bridge that was built just outside Louisville. So suspension bridges are similar to cable stays except this cable right here is suspended between the two towers and then from the suspended cable you have vertical cables that go down and connect to the deck. These cables are what actually holds a load of the deck. These can go extremely long spans up to a thousand feet or more. Alright, let's move on into bridge components, the biggest part of what you'll need for this class. The first thing is the superstructure. The superstructure includes all components of a bridge that actually span the obstacles. So these are the members that are going out in a horizontal direction. So we're looking at this picture here, everything from these precast I-beams up into the deck and the barrier wall are all considered the superstructure. Uh, as far as the state of Kentucky goes, our concrete mix that goes in the superstructure is a class AA concrete. Now the substructure consists of all the parts that support the superstructure. So a good way to remember this, the substructure is anything that is gone in the vertical direction. So all the way from the footings of our bridge, whether that's piling, drilled shafts, or just a regular footing, up into the pier columns, the pier base, the pier cap, the end vents, the abutments, all of that is considered the substructure. And the concrete for our substructure is Class A concrete. Now, the integral end vent is our most common end substructure in Kentucky. What that means by integral end vent is the end vent itself actually takes some of the movement in the bridge. So as it warms up or cools down, the bridge is going to expand and contract. 
and the substructure and the superstructure are connected together at the integral indent, which allows for that the piling here, you can see this piling, they actually move with the bridge to take that movement. This keeps us from ha having to have an expansion joint at the end of the bridge. Just the regular end bent, this is a fixed end. So as with it being fixed, you'll see here, they do require some type of an expansion assembly at the top of the beams there to take account for the movement. Uh, these usually have two rows of piling. You can see the piling here in the vertical direction and the battered. They don't have to be battered, but you will see the piling in that position and you can actually see that it's going to be in the fixed direction, the strong axis. The abutment is our second most common in structure. The abutment we use when rock is fairly shallow. This goes down all the way into solid rock. We'll build the footer into the rock and then build it to the height that is required uh, to give us the beam seat elevation that we need to set our beams. Multi-column piers are our most common, reason being they don't require as much concrete and steel, so therefore they're a cheaper pier. Uh, you can see they have individual columns, each have their individual footer. They go up into one connected pier cap. These can also have a web wall that connects them. The web wall could be structural or it could just be aesthetic. Hammerhead piers are a different type of pier. We have some of these in the state. They do cost a little more, so we don't use them as common. You can see they do have more advanced uh, footings and foundations. All right, and then the next we'll move into title sheet basics, but that's not going to be in this video. As you can see attached in this video, a link to another video that we have done that is goes into bridge plan reading. So actually explains these plans in much greater detail. Thank you and have a great day.